Thanks to the power lounge for hanging about. Are, there a, are we still serving drinks? Are we done? Sorry, just flip me the bird. That's how happy he is. So can we get some... Um, let's welcome Dean Turner from West Oxen, please. Thank you very much. And Sammy, do you want to join us, Sammy? Do you want to come up as well? Or Sharon? Should we get all three of you up? Come on, girls. Come in. Look, we've got three chairs. Come on. And you, please. Okay, so obviously I'm joined here by Dean Turner, Sharon Turner and Sammy Smith from, from West Oxen. I've, they've been involved with the shows for, for a number of years and I'm, and I'm delighted that they've got, you know, the Soko Brothers boxing and obviously Andrew Brooks, you know, we've, just, we've still got John Upton here, so big up John Upton's hanging about as well. But one thing I love, you know, with this, with this fight and, um, and I know Dean's going to talk about it a bit more, but the, the, the passion they're showing for their opposition and... Um, you know, it's not about, um, you know, what we're getting out of it. These, this gym, just all they, all they, they got a great little setup there in West Oxford at Crawley Mill. I, I, I mentioned about some favourite gyms. That is also one of my favourite gyms. I've probably got a lot of favourite gyms. But it is, it's a nice place, very friendly, very welcoming. And you've also got some good boxers, Dean. But um, just tell me now, because you, you made a point to me when I met you uh, recently, when the fights got made, you wanted to talk about what you want to do you know, for, for John Upton and, and his, uh, his movement. Well, thanks for having us, Rich. Um, we'll we just go back to our, our little gym uh, in the corner of West Oxen down in Whitney. Um, the, the fight night is called a night of champions and we've got a real bad habit of producing champions. Um, young Harry Dudley sat at the back there was um, one of Steve's first yeah. junior champions. Um, and you know, we hope him to make his uh, his return um, and obviously I've got the two young Soko brothers coming through then Rich said to me there's uh, this lad John Upton um, wants a box on the show um, for charity what can we do to help out so of course um, we'll provide that boxer in Andrew um, he's training really hard and it'd be a super night well we wanted to find out more about this charity um, John's brought uh, young Lewis's dad along with him today they've traveled a long way from Leicester to get here um, the little lad was diagnosed um, just before his fourth birthday um, with a hateful muscle disease that's very degenerative um, and he's already in a wheelchair trike now um, struggling from day to day the family were, were dealt a real poor card um, so we said that we would get on board um, Sammy here my youngest sister has got two children that were both born with uh, a muscle disease. Very, very fortunate that it was a mild one, but they've had a lifetime of struggles too. So this charity is very close to us as a family. Um, we've got to hit a target by the 28th of September of just over £10,000. Between Lewis himself, he's been doing a 79-kilometre trike um, to raise his own money, um, which he's done about £1,844, I believe. Yeah. Um, lots of other things have been happening. We've got a lot of people on board that have been given donations and things, and we are about 10 grand shy at the moment. If there are any local businesses in Swindon, as long with all my friends and things that are in business back in Whitney that have been helping out, I want to try and hit that target. He needs a specialist wheelchair. And all it will do, guys, is give him a little bit of normality, if that's what it's called. Um, we take for granted today walking in that door with our legs. Unfortunately, little Lewis has only got one leg at the moment because he broke his leg um, three weeks ago now, um, just because he's got no muscle definition. So he'd taken the couple of steps that he could do on holiday and unfortunately broke his leg. So that is the kind of scale that is um, that they're facing, and it, it's not very nice. Um, so to get this specialist all-terrain wheelchair would just allow Lewis out to go down to the park to watch his friends play, not to participate, just to get out the house, go and watch his friends play um, for a few years to come. Um, so it's very, very important to us that we do what we can. Um, and with, we've been with Rich for many years now on both SM Fight Club 
um, providing boxes. So just be nice if somebody else can get behind us. We are a charity run boxing club ourselves, and part of our purpose is, is to do charity work. So that's why we've jumped on board um, for Lewis, for his dad, and for John um, for this fight. Listen, I'm just listening to you, mate. I, that's, I mean, that's, if that doesn't tell you, you know, that, that you know, if you can't help or, or, or you, you, you want to help, please. I mean, that's, that's an incredible sort of story and situation. And obviously, I, I want to do our bit. And in this uh, video, we're going to be putting the link, like in John's interview. So anyone can sort of, if you're in a position, make a donation. Not, you know, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be, you know, end of the month. But obviously, on the, on the night, we're going to do stuff as well, John. And obviously, with West Oxen. Um, to try and raise money. I've already spoke to Chaz, our sponsor, who's kindly donating some memorabilia. And all these little things, little pockets of things that people are doing. And I know the gym are doing everything. Boxes are giving up their commissions and things like that. And so, um, you know, that's what we're going to try and do. Everyone collectively, if we all come together, you know, even something so small, we can, we can hit that target, I reckon, by the end of September. That'd be amazing if we can do that. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay.